Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about our new development port. Uh, this is the A7670C 4G LTE development port. Uh, this port uh, can be used for simple cellular applications. Uh, uh, suppose if your project wants a wants a just a 4G LTE connectivity, then you can go for this uh, LTE development port. Uh, this board comes with a TPS54240 switching regulator as its power supply front end. So you can connect a 12 volt to 40 volt DC input to this uh, DC adapter here. And there is optional uh, uh, 3.7 volt battery connection given in the bottom of the board. So you can uh, connect uh, a 3.7 volt to 4.2 volt LiPo battery to it directly. So once you connect it, uh, you can uh, uh, switch on the module using the power key button here. So once you connect the power, you need to press the power key switch to boot the module. There are some uh, headers provided for a connection for uh, uh, important lines of A7670C. Uh, these are uh, uh, these are the lines, you, uh, these are the important lines which will be necessary for uh, communicating uh, with an MCU or an external hardware. So there is net lights and the GSM status. Net light will indicate whether the network is connected or not and the GSM status pin will indicate whether the mod module is uh, uh, is boot up or not and uh, these are the normal uh, UART lines ground URTX and URTRX uh, power key is uh, for uh, booting the module uh, the, there is a transistor uh, between this pin and the SIMCOM module uh, so you need to make it high to actually make the SIMCOM uh, power key pin low and uh, these are the VDD aux and the VTRANS. VTRANS is necessary for reward communication because of the inbuilt uh, level translator on this board. Uh, so you need to connect 3.3 uh, volt if your MCU is uh, running at 3.3 volts and uh, if your uh, MCU which is connecting to the watt lines is running at 5 volts, you need to connect 5 volt to the VTRANS lines. Uh, these are the other pins which of the A7670C which have been routed for future development if you want to use it. Uh, this is the ear earphone uh, plus earphone uh, negative, uh, microphone positive and microphone negative and uh, some extra ground pins, SPA lines and the UART uh, RI pins if you are uh, looking for looking to get alerts for incoming calls or SMS and uh, uh, the reset pin which is similar to the power key pin but uh, you need, it will reboot the model instead of uh, turning it on and turning it off. A 1.8 DC if you want to connect any uh, take uh, make use of this 1.8 DC generated by SIMCOM module but don't connect any heavy loads on this it's a very limited current uh, output and uh, here as you can see this is the power key switch and uh, uh, this is the level translator TXS0102 and uh, TPS 54240 switching regulator supporting circuitry and filters uh, there are some EST diodes added as well this is the cellular antenna circuit which is named as GSM ant and uh, you can connect uh, cellular antenna to either the UFL connector or the SMA connector here so SMA connector is not assembled by default if you request us we will assemble it and uh, uh, a micro USB port has been provided for uh, connecting to a PC and uh, sending AT commands or upgrading the firmware of A7670C. By default, the board will ship with the A7670C LASS uh, uh, part number and uh, there is a nano SIM push push type uh, SIM connector provided here. So I have tested this port to run fine with the uh, Airtel SIM card. So that's all about this port. These are the main features of the board. Uh, so if you are having an application where it requires uh, just uh, uh, simple uh, cellular connectivity for with uh, 4G capabilities then you can go for this port. Uh, this will be much cheaper compared to the A7672 series port uh, which we developed earlier. Uh, it's, uh, it sells at uh, 1999 already and uh, this will be I think much cheaper than that. When it comes to indicators there are two LEDs provided. The one is the power LED and the other is the net light LED. Net light LED is driven by the transistor as recommended by the data sheet in the uh, A7670C hardware manual and uh, uh, here uh, the power LED is just uh, driven by a resistor uh, which is uh, dropping the voltage from uh, 4 volt which is generated by TPS 54240. So whenever this LED is lit uh, understand that the A7670C is, has received uh, the power input. One more important feature of this board is that uh, I have made this design to be of the size of a Raspberry Pi hat and uh, here uh, 
uh, the mounting holes should match your uh, respective pie head sizes and uh, uh, the headers also should come to the TXR and RX lines of the Raspberry Pi as per the manual given in the Raspberry Pi website. So you can verify it and uh, make use of it. Okay, now let's try to connect the board to the computer and uh, see how it works. Uh, first insert the SIM card into the slot. Uh, you need to use a nano SIM for this and uh, connect a cellular antenna and after that uh, you can connect the DC adapter to this port. I am using this uh, 12 volt uh, 1 ampere DC adapter. So once you connect the adapter you can see that the power LED has, be, has uh, started to glow and after this uh, you need to press the power key button. If you are uh, connecting through your MCU you need to make the power key pin high uh, which is uh, which is this pin here, this is, uh, the third pin from the bottom. So you need to make the power key pin high uh, for one second to boot the module. Uh, on the board here, if you're directly connecting it to a computer, you can uh, press this power key button for one second, it will uh, boot the module. And once the network is registered, you can see that the netlight LED starts blinking. So once it starts blinking, connect a micro USB port to it and connect to the computer. Okay, once you are connected the board to the computer, you need to open device manager and see if the uh, module has been detected uh, in the COM port section here. Uh, we have already installed the device drivers on this. If you don't see the uh, devices, uh, these ports appear on the device manager. There will be multiple unknown devices uh, shown here for you need to right click on them and uh, uh, click on update driver and then browse to the computer or to the place where the uh, and browse, browse on your computer where the drivers are and select the path and click next it will install the driver each uh, for each of the ports here. So there are multiple ports here AT port and an NME port and an diagnostic port. NME port is not useful on this module because it doesn't have GNSS on it but for other modules uh, like A7672 and all you will need uh, NMEA port also if you want to test the direct NME commands appearing on the terminal. Once the device appears on the COM port you can open any terminal software I'm using SSCOM for this uh, and then come here and select the AT port uh, which is here and uh, click on open COM I'm using 115200 as the border that's the default border for all modules which are uh, released by SIMCOM recently and after this uh, you can uh, send any AT command just type AT and send you can see that the response is okay you can also see other uh, send other commands there are pre-saved strings here this will give you the signal strength and there is a CPSI which will uh, give you the network details before which it is registered I put in Airtel SIM card so it's showing the Airtel SIM card uh, MCC LAC codes etc and uh, let's see if the network is registered using the AT plus C reg command. Okay, uh, it is registered to the network. If it's 0, 0,1 or 0, 0,5, then it's registered to the network. 0, 0,5 usually means that the SIM card is in roaming, but it is registered. If it's 0, 0,0 or 0, 0,2, something like that, then your SIM card is not detected or the SIM card has not registered to the network. That's all for now. If you want to order this port, it's available on our website valetron.com slash store and you can find this A7670C evaluation module there. You can uh, order from there if, uh, if you want to select a different module for a different uh, region uh, that's also available. This port supports uh, others, other modules also like A7670E for European bands and uh, A7670SA for uh, uh, South American bands. So you can select any of these uh, modules and uh, place your order. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.